Hello everyone, welcome to the Red Men TV. It was Liverpool 1, it was Ajax 0. It is Liverpool qualifying for the last 16 of the Champions League. Top of the group. Who'd have thought we'd be sat here with big, massive smiles on our faces when we saw the team news announced. Uh, and obviously on the back of all the rumours about the goalkeeper, Alison Becker, injured, missing for this game. Um, big Kev Kelleher comes in, <laughs> um, making his Champions League debut. He's played just four games for Liverpool prior to that, uh, only in the domestic cup competitions, getting the start ahead of Adrian and putting in an absolutely fantastic performance between the sticks for the Reds, 22 years of age. And a very much a strong shout for man of the match. I'm getting through your reactions Um to this one right now. If you are a YouTube member, you can use the live chat alongside here. If you want me to read a comment, put my name, which is Mach first, and then I'll nip over to Twitter, and then I'll come back for some more. So if you want to join up as a Reb, uh, as a Reb member here on YouTube at any level, like uh, Dara O'Donoghue has just done, uh, then yeah, I will uh, give you some time to get some comments in for me. Uh, but I will start there. Uh, Sabin Ilyev was the first comment. Kelleher needs to start against Wolves. I can't really disagree with that, mate, at this point. I was, uh, and, and Karl Markham's actually said this on Twitter, and I, I think it's come off I and mean, I agree that I wondered whether this was the game where you could afford to try him out and if he's good then you can maybe keep him in force but if he's not then you don't have to and you can go with him um, you can go with Adrian uh, instead but no he was he was fantastic and I'd have no problems with seeing him playing goal for Liverpool again after the, after the back of that um, JM they're saying yeah Mate, uh, Keller ex exudes a calming presence um, Curtis's finish was world class and Nico had a solid outing yeah absolutely 10 out of 10 team performance absolutely brilliant uh, Ashley Frith saying that was Nico's best performance for us I thought all of midfield three were amazing however we really need to rest Genie somehow yeah we do and what a performance and I think it was the right move tactically I think in that second half just to just to tell Genie to sit a little deeper let Henderson make some of the lung busting runs because he's obviously fresher um, I don't know where his rest comes but I mean look at him he was still going right at the end of that game, Genie Van Alden is an absolute machine. I would give him whatever bloody contract he wants. Uh, get him, get him signed up. They're uh, crazy to see your belief in the squad. Klopp is a god. I don't know why we doubt doubt anything. Um, doubt anything that happens around this Liverpool side. And uh, look, I know it because it comes because we've had two disappointing results and disappointing performances are, are around them as well. So you do feel like that little cloud of misery just start to cut a creep in over your head. Um, but. Um, yeah, that, they're so good, and you know they keep proving all the doubters wrong, don't they? Week in, week out. Um, Mohammed uh, Mustafa with the five dollar super chat. Thank you so much. Salah wasn't at his best, uh, but f me, uh, some of the service to him today. Sloppy passes from the front three all round, and that was the one thing. Uh, Jordan Henderson referenced it in his post match interview. Like we should that game, we should have battered them. That should have been two or three to us. You know, Ayo Kelleher makes two really good saves in the game, um, so it shouldn't be underestimated, but. Our final ball was lacking so many times. Um, but yeah, I would treat it as an encouragement given the fact that we are, you know, we're running on empty in so many departments. Um, Prajes Pujari saying, Mate, our young guns were brilliant. Special shout out to Nico for that touch around the 80th minute and starting a counter. Uh, Hendo moving to right centre mid in the second half was important, guiding Nico, our captain. And Rob Davies sort of echoing that as well, saying, So happy for Nico. We needed that performance. Also, Kelleher, man of the match for me, Adrian, who. Um, yeah, oh, we got another super chat in just quickly here before I nip over to Twitter uh, from Sid a Senor. That was Nico's best game in a red shirt. Yeah, I, I, it was. It was back to him being a good, a good right back. He is a good young right back, and he's going to have games where he struggles like that. Neres, right? I mean, there's a lot of people who, who would have would be all over David Neres. You know, he's a player that we'd have all gone. If you, if you said it was in the summer, we'll link with him. A lot of people would have been rubbing their hands together, going, "Wow, like what a talent!" He's you know, he's a very very good footballer. And Ajax are a wonderful attacking side as well. And you know, sometimes it was a bit last gasp, but um, we we did it. We come away come away with the clean sheet, and that is a that is massive massive credit to all of those lads. And Nico Williams, I said this for long. And Nico Williams isn't crap. He's just he, he's a young lad finding his feet. And that was exactly the performance that we needed from him. And he was. He was helped out by lads around him. He had Jordan Henderson with him and he had Mohamed Salah helping him out more in the second half and he, and he shone for it. Brilliant. Right, just quickly over to Twitter then. Uh, our very own Lauren Black uh, saying, that Keller save has got Alisson versus Napoli vibes all over it. I completely agree with that. I was talking about that. We've got uh, for a release of Christmas on the uh, RedmenTV.com. Something to look forward to for all of our um, website subscribers. 
and I was talking about the Alison save being such a massive moment um, that the save itself in slow motion doesn't look it's not the best looking save but in real time in the flow of the game and the, and the proximity of the chance and all that I, that was a really really interesting one uh, Ben Webb to Ginger Buffon yeah um, Ansab Chowdhury absolutely flawless performance from Kelleher never want to see Adrian start ahead of him ever again also shout for Nico what a performance whereas Doubters now so they'll be there you know this is the problem with people who who, uh, who actively slag footballers off? It never goes anywhere. They just, you know, a lot of it is just. Some of it's just disappointing people. And you're not. I'm not saying everyone who thinks Nico Williams hasn't been great as this, but there's the really diehard, embittered football fans who will never ever give a footballer a, a fair crack at them. They find the players they don't like and they wait until that point where inevitably, because most footballers don't make it at the highest level and don't make it at Liverpool and they just wait till they prove right. Um, but I think if anyone was unsure about Nico and there will have been a few people who thought, mm, I'm not sure what we've got there, um, you can see. He'll be up and down. He's 19 years old. That's what he's capable of. Um, you know, Henderson said, I think he over the cross a little bit, but you know he's come out of there with a clean sheet against a very, very good side, and he's got an assist as well from our third choice right back. Yeah, very, very good for me. Very good indeed. Uh, Techno Copite, qualified, group winners, good performance all around with that. I'm to set the world alight. Kelleher, though, fantastic debut Champions League performance. He has sits a very happy red, mate. You're not the only one. There's a lot of us sitting around, just kind of smart. I was a, I was a mess. I was a mess before this game. I didn't really know what to think or feel. And it's just that that feeling that the rising tide of injuries now the Liverpool are Liverpool just gonna reach breaking points. Well, maybe, maybe one day that'll come. But it wasn't today. Um, Dean Foley, amazing. What an answer to the critics from Nico. Assist and a sexy Curtis goal. But let's not forget Kelleher. What a debut tonight. Winners of the group and a meaningless game next week. Just what we needed. 100%, mate. Uh, Dean Murray, not the best performance, but a vital result going forward. Big blow to have Alisson out. But Kelleher was calm and collected, which is a plus. Group tied. Tied up, um, getting reds, yeah, absolutely, mate. Carl and McGlone, great to see Nico have a good game. Jones was fantastic start to finish, and how good was Kelleher? Delighted for him, surely must be the number two keeper now. Great result, yeah, we'll have, we'll have to see. Um, raw FIFA 95, the lads we thought might struggle pretty much bagged us the three points. I love that comment, you're absolutely right. There was some doubt, doubt over the goalkeeper. Doubt over the right back, and not so much doubt over Curtis Jones, of course, but he's a 19-year-old boy playing, you know, at the highest level of of, of domestic football there in the Champions League. He's a very good Ajax side who had a lot to play for, and again, you know, you can see the talent in that team. Such a lovely side to watch, um, and yeah, you're right. Keller keeping them out. Nico Williams providing the ammunition, and Curtis Jones pulling the trigger. Um, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It bodes very well for the future of the football club, really. And hope and probably the present, all told. Um Lewis Zacharias saying special performance from Genie tonight. The lad is always full of run and brings so much energy. Absolute machine. Yes, indeed. Um Nada, uh, El Mazri, Kelleher, Nico Williams, men of the match, and we looked better since Firmino came on, by the way. No harmony between Jota, Mane and Salah. Yeah, and a few people saying that, you know, and you're right, I think a little bit disjointed at times in the front positions, but so much better for Bobby Firmino being in there. Yeah, we just, we were able to, the ball stuck a lot more. We just were able to just take our time over things, and Firmino just looked on it. That's the Bobby that we know and love. So unlucky not to get a goal. Great save from the goalkeeper in the end. Uh, and Michael, just to wrap us up from Twitter before we head back over to the uh, members chat uh, on YouTube. Young guys out there, all three are shouts for Man of the Match. Yeah, who was your Man of the Match? Let me know in the comments. Um, Ashley Frith, heading back over to uh, YouTube then. Five pounds super chat. Quick question. How did you find that Schurz? He could be a good potential sign of Liverpool. Young, quick, strong, and maybe happy to third choice. There's talk of him being 30 million. If that if he's available for 30 million part, I just go and buy him. I mean, I don't know if Liverpool have 30 million floating around, but that I think we could breathe a big sigh really. I think another if we can go and get someone, look, he's good enough to play in the Champions League, and you could see how well he handled Mane in some really, really tight situations in that. Mane's the best left winger in the world. And 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 he gave him a really, really, really tough game tonight. So yeah, I would I thought he looked decent for me. Um Stealth X Panda play fringe players in Denmark or as many as we can as that game means nothing in terms of the results. 
absolutely. Uh, Costa Shimakas, get him some minutes. If you have to give some time to other players, like Minamino needs minutes, Origi needs minutes. I wouldn't be beyond letting Leighton Clarkson or Jake Kane having a little look in in that one. Just do what we can, make sure that we're ready to, to, to mount a challenge on the December period because, you know, you've got to make sure that you've got the Fulham game and then you're starting to gear up towards Tottenham Hotspur. I want our best possible team ready for that game and this is a, this is the best possible preparation, really. Uh, welcome aboard, Charles Joseph has joined us a first team member on there um says hey all uh, i'm new big shout out to kelleher yeah absolutely the biggest shout that we can give him absolutely splendid absolutely splendid indeed uh mix jones our best attacking midfielder tiago may be creative but uh f me curtis has that goal scoring threat you were just born with curtis jones has got something you know he is, re- he's, and I've not. I, I knew this a few years ago, but there's a chance where it could just be. You've got the confidence. You, you, you your mouth writes checks that your body can't cash. Uh, is is the expression for it? Mercedes Jones, like two years ago, maybe, maybe even three years ago. It might be that far. God, it's been a while. Um, but he, he was on preseason tour, and he, he spoke like a lad who felt like he was where he needed to be. Doesn't you know culminate anything for him that season? But you can see him now, nineteen. 19 to be 19 year olds should just be coming into sides as good as Liverpool and if they can hold their own and put in six to seven out of ten out of ten performances that's absolutely fine for 19 year olds Kerr Jones is coming in and he is being one of the best players on the pitch he, for me if Kelleher's not not making his Champions League debut there Curtis Jones is man of the match for me comfortably in that game um, but I wouldn't be against giving it to the goalie at all because they're great and he very much looks like Jürgen Klopp's son as well as I see him on the screen one more time there um just absolutely great. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, Mick saying that Thiago, great creative midfielder, but Jones is the biggest natural goal threat since for Jones since we had Gerrard. I mean, yeah, I mean, a diff- completely different type of footballer, but Curtis Jones looks like a lad who ten years ago would have been a winger. He'd have been Steve McMahon of him. But now you're playing him in the heart of the midfield, and he's got energy, drive, desire, control. There's that bit where he's under pressure in the left and the left mid position, and he goes one way, and he's being fed down a blind alley, and he just steps over and takes it back the other way and plays the ball through. I think it goes through to like Jota or something. That is just that. That's the kind of ball that you can only see when you're playing FIFA or you're watching on the telly. And he, he, he did, does that on the pitch. He was just absolutely great. Um, Ashley Frith, my WhatsApp group is loving Matip. Thought he made us look so much more solid. He is. He's a, he's, Joe Matip's a brilliant defender. He, he, you know, he's as he's as good as any defender on the out, out there. Really, it's just making sure that we get him on the pitch as many times as possible. Really, um, Scott Hawks makes Curtis as Oxford Chamberlain's mid to long term replacement. Yeah, maybe a lot. There's a lot of time for Curtis Jones to reach his potential, of course. And right now, any senior player who can get back and fifth for us is going to be a boon for us, given that we've got a lot of games. Still Still coming, you know, we've not even hit the traditional busy periods, you know. And again, look, my my head was in the toilets going into this game, and it's been it's been lifted out of it and up into the clouds by that performance. So let's hope it stays there. Right, thank you so much. Thank you to all our new members. If you are a, a YouTube member at tier two or tier three, which is called Captain or Club Legend, you get a bonus show every week. Uh, if that bonus show is enough for you, great. If you want more, sign up to the RedmenTV.com. You subscribe to there. There's a couple of levels there which get you some extra stuff. For uh, five pounds a month, is just your season ticket holder that gets you all of our content, podcast form and video form. Loads of documentaries, loads of exclusive interviews, content you won't find anywhere. It is a fully functioning Liverpool streaming service. We are on the Netflix of Liverpool Football Club. Um, so there's loads of brilliant stuff there to keep you entertained. Obviously, content weekend. We got match reviews, match previews, all that kind of stuff as well. But loads of other really in depth stuff. Uh, and in addition to that, there's also an added level where you get free merchandise you get discounts off of a whole variety of other things as well and you get access to exclusive discord group for our club legend subscribers so if you want to support what we do the youtube stuff is brought to you by the people basically who subscribe to the website they fund our entire endeavor uh, so if you want to become one of the guys if you love the free stuff if you're enjoying the uh, the commentaries that we've been giving to you guys in these rather trying circumstances and you want to help support the channel then please go and sign up and we do nothing for nothing we give you a, a again for the support for the channel we give you a fully functioning streaming service for Liverpool Football Club made by fans for fans. So, yeah, go over there and sign up to the RedmenTV.com. Uh, got a comment there from Ashley Fritz in the Brendan documentary is class. Exactly. Go and check that out. That is the best thing that we've got out there. The best and newest thing alongside uh, my big chat with Jamie Carragher as well. Um, brilliant. Thank you. That's wonderful. Go and get a Christmas jumper as well, as well while you can. Uh, go smile. Spread the word. Spread the love. Spread the positivity. Chris Paycheck play ratings back very shortly indeed. That's me for now. I'll be back for the instant match reaction or for tomorrow's final. Final word, ta-ta.